All right, it's showtime. We're off and running. Okay, we're here in Bloomington Normal. We managed to get in last night, get in a little late. Unseen, we ate in a room. I never left the room. Fortunately, the room was in a convenient spot to cloak and dagger in. Real late, when almost nobody was there, we went over to the venue and we found the entrance that I'm gonna execute this through. The last obstacle is for me to be over there and be back in that secluded area outside, not to be spotted. Again, this is something it's great to do for Ryan, who's created this show, which next year is even bigger. It's gonna take on a new name and I'm sworn to secrecy. It's great to do it to help out Walter. It's great to do it to help out the various people, like the Midway people, who deserve the award and recognition again. But most of all, it's great to do this for Doc Mack. It's great to do it because he's earned it, he's deserved it, he does a lot for other people. And plus, I like to let him know I'm always one up on him, so I'm sneaking this in. So, the plan is to get there incognito. I don't think it's gonna work. But Billy Mitchell always has a plan. Question is, how did I get a key to the maintenance room? Easy, I'm dealing with a working man. Let's sign a kind word. A kind word and a bottle of hot sauce. I'll get you a key. I got a key. Make our way through here, into the main area. The target is the stage. Do not make eye contact with anyone. Point A to point B. What are you doing here? Hey, how did you get in here? You don't have a badge. I'm Billy Mitchell. I don't require a badge. Billy Mitchell always has a plan. Welcome to BN Bloomington Normal Boom Shakalaka Convention. Or something like that. <laughs> now, Ryan put this show together. It's only been a few short years. Now, next year, there's a major announcement major venue change. There's a major name change that nobody knows the secret to. But I know. And no, I'm not going to tell you. It's always cool to honor guys, especially the guys that go way back in time. Guys that work for companies that have been around forever. And of course, Midway's been around forever. When I think of what I call the Midway guys, Daniel, Tim, Paul, I mean, we talk about Mortal Kombat, we talk about NBA Jam. Again, these are guys who made a footprint in the industry. They made a footprint that all of us enjoyed. They made a footprint that our kids and our grandkids will still play and enjoy. Jeez, oh man, if that's not scary. Ooh. The truth is, you see that, and then you see people dress up. You see what's on the table, and it comes to life. And somebody's wearing it. Cosplay. Real creativity. Awesome job. When I go to the shows lately, there's certain things I really, really appreciate. Like sometimes I see people and they're wearing masks. And I think that's good. Because a lot of game players, a lot of them, they look better with the mask on. Don't you think? All right, here's the game plan. Okay, I got three awards. One is for Danielle. Absolutely awesome. She plays Flicky. It's always great to have a girl in the gaming industry because there's so few of them. And she's one that excels. I mean, she streamed it for four, almost five hours. Okay, but the greatest level of achievement that she has is that she tolerates the Doc and all of his buddies. I know from experience, I've heard it from my wife. Gaming guys can be strange guys. They can work 120 hours a week. Somehow, somewhere, women like Danielle are like saints. They somehow tolerate it. They tolerate all the idiosyncrasies. Give me a D! D! O! O! This is good. Watch this. I'm up here talking okay, about a guy who's had an impact on the industry 
I'm saying everything nice. I haven't said any names yet. And Doc just walks up on stage. And I mean, I said to him, I go, geez, you know, you're pretty confident here. I haven't said your name or anything. And he tries to explain to me that he came up on stage because he wants to make sure the NBA Jam is working. Um, all right, I'll go along with that if that's what you want people to believe. This is so cool. The cards are being presented to Doc Mac. Okay. Global gaming culture. Okay, his incessant service to the arcade community. He's going to be remembered as one of the leaders. Very in mind. Bringing together people from all corners of the globe. I mean, not only is he a founding father of Gallup and Ghost Arcade, the largest arcade in the world, but I mean, he's brought games back from the dead that we would have never been able to play. It was awesome. I look at him with admiration because he bucked all the previous trends. Everybody struggling to do things. There was no roadmap. He simply had to go out and had to carve his way through it. It's absolutely awesome. The next thing for Galloping Ghost, Walter screwed this up. He told me that Pete wasn't there. Okay, I wanted Pete to get the award for Galloping Ghost. Then Doc would get the second award for Galloping Ghost because I wanted Pete on stage because Pete is Doc's right-hand man. He's the unsung hero along with Danielle. In reality, being up on stage here with all these guys, all the guests from the show, the guys who are on trading cards, it's actually really cool. To me, when you're amongst people, people that share a passion with you, the things you enjoy, the memories you share, and your anticipations of the future, that's really, really rewarding. I came in like lightning, I left like lightning. Because it's not about me. I wanted to do something for some other people. I did it and I'm gone. Say, I kind of feel bad. Jimbo Slice, Crime Fighter, Pete, Doc. Oh man, I just walked out on everybody. And every one of those people are good people. I'd like to say hi, to say thank you to them. But it's not about me, it's about them. So I'll have to say hi another time.